As those men and women say goodbye and prepare for another deployment, it has a big impact on their entire families, especially the younger ones. As KXAN's Ignacio Garcia explains, some groups are helping the children of deploying soldiers cope with the change. Children jumping and running around having a good time. Another day at the park. Well, not quite. Because today isn't just about hanging out with friends. It's about learning how to deal with parental alienation. Imani had to fight negative thoughts when her dad was first deployed. When he first left, I was sad about it. I thought he was going to die, but, you know, just keep in touch, write letters, and it will, it will keep you positive. The idea about this camp is not only to teach children about coping with a parent who's been deployed, but also to get them to know other children who may be going through the exact same thing they're going through. Oh, there you go. The event, organized by the Comfort Crew, marks the end of a week-long camp in its second year. A lot of these kids have to move every three years. Uh, a lot of these children go through um, stress that, that people just don't realize, uh, you know, on a daily basis. Daryl said he had to adjust to his mom when she came back from deployment. We had to live without her for a little while, and then when she comes back, we have to get, um, since people change, we have to get used to how they are. Others battle with the unknown. It was really hard because we just kept going on with our regular lives, uh, wondering when's my dad going to get back. Organizers say deployment is hard enough on kids and want the transition upon soldiers' return to be as smooth as possible. It's really important for us to, to support the transition and the reintegration process. And, you know, there's really no timeline for that. In many cases, that will happen very rapidly. In other families, it takes a little bit of time. It may only be a few days with new friends, but it will hopefully leave a lifelong impression in their lives. Ignacio Garcia, KXAN News.